<laughs> so here on the, the rear wall of the building, we've got an area of brickwork, as, as was before the works were started and we're still looking at, and we've got an area where the brickwork's been completed and restored. Now this has re required some replacement bricks in some places, um, and that's had to happen where we've had frost damage to the face of bricks. This is again where hard cementitious pointing has, been, has taken place and caused water to compound in bricks and the face to blow off. In addition, it's interesting to see these bricks, which are probably from around the 1750s, which are uh, before the industrial production of bricks, where the clay was sifted and, and rehydrated um, before it was formed into clay blocks and, 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 and fired. At that time, literally, it was dug out of a pit probably just down the road and all the stones and hard rubble are left in there, which obviously cause pressures within, within the brick. And so when we have problems of frost, it will compound around these elements because they will, um, they will expand at different rates. So we do have problems with historic brickwork because of this um, inconsistency with the, actual, with the actual raw material that was used. Um, but this shows you some of the real problems we have as buildings start to decay over time. Uh, and the need to do this kind of comprehensive work that, that's um, so importantly funded. And you can see that the brick literally is, is returning back to clay over this time of the year. So it's really important to get sound, sound bricks back in place in order to ensure that the, the building retains watertight.